Well, happy Monday morning, Life Group leaders. This is the week we've been waiting for. Life Groups are launching this week. We actually had some that launched yesterday. And so we are really excited about what's going to transpire over the next several months together. And I hope you're excited about that too. With that, let me share some uh, reminders for us all as we begin our groups this week. Um, the first thing is if, if you haven't yet, please, please, please make sure you call your people, whoever's on your list, make sure that somebody has gotten in touch with them. If they don't work out for your group, please let us know. You can contact us back here at the office or contact Jeff. Uh, you got his email. He's sent out plenty of those over the last several weeks, but please let us know. We don't want people to fall through the cracks. We actually had some people we know that didn't get contacted last week. And so we want to make sure that everybody who signed a card got a contact. And so um, please, if, if they didn't work out for your group, let us know. Send that information back. Uh, don't just drop them. Make sure that they get connected back so that we can find another group to get them fit, uh, fit into. Uh, with that, also knowing we have had a ton of people who have signed up for groups this year, which is really, really exciting. We're so excited uh, to see many, many new faces get plugged in. We also know that because of that, we we actually have a sh probably a little bit of a shortage of leadership right now. So some of your groups are going to be bigger than they want to be, than we want them to be. Uh, we're, we might have some who fall out. But our goal is to see those groups multiply. We want to see those groups continue to launch new groups, and which allows for us to grow. So from the very beginning of your group this, this week, begin setting the expectation that, hey, we, we're going to launch a new group out of this, begin mentoring and, and uh, grooming a new leader, let somebody else take the discussion for a week. Uh, allow that to happen. We we got to continue to grow this. One of the reasons we have uh, an overflow of people is because we've got not enough leaders. And so we have to have everybody investing in a new leader. So please make sure that that's happening and start it from the get-go. That's how it's going to be the most effective. If you just set that as an expectation from the beginning, uh, we're going to be much more effective if we can launch another group, maybe even this spring. So, uh, so start that from the beginning, make that a part of your group that everybody knows going in. The expectation is we want to multiply these groups and continue to see other people come and be a part. Uh, with that, just a reminder, everybody knows what they got signed up for when they came to your group. We did a whole message on it. The expectation goes far beyond just sitting sitting around doing a Bible study. The expectation is we do life together and, and practicing those one another's on a regular basis. And so everybody knows that. Nobody's going to be surprised at that because that's what they signed up for. They know that's going to happen. And so for, for some of you who've been around for a long time, that may seem a little awkward for you. It's not going to be awkward for the people who are coming to join in. That's what they signed up for. They knew that was coming. And so let's make sure that we begin making that the characteristics of our group. Uh, again, as we set those things from the beginning, starting tonight or tomorrow night or Thursday night, whatever in the night you have, then they're, they're going to know that. They're going to have that as an expectation. And so begin practicing that from the very beginning. Um, you have your... Hopefully you received the discussion guide. Many of you went to the training. You received it then. Uh, we could also send it out an email. But, but one of the things we did, we went ahead and put it online. So you can go get it whenever you want off of our website. If you just go to where the sermon messages are, there's a link right beside the sermon messages that says download a life group question. And so right beside the link, if you missed a Sunday, go watch the, watch the message online. You can go ahead and download the message questions right there from the website. And so they're available for you. And again, remember... This is not about going through all of the questions. That's not the goal. The goal is not answering questions. The goal is growing as disciples together. That's the goal. And the questions can be a tool for that. And so pick out the ones that work for you. Uh, but more important than anything else is making those application points. And you as a leader continuing to to put those application points before your group. And so this week we encourage you possibly... As you're going through the application time, take a few notes of the ones that really stuck stuck out for your group and email those out a few days later, uh, asking your group, hey, how are you doing with these applications that we talked about in our group this week? So that's the point. It's not about going through the questions. It's about growing as disciples 
together. And so that's what we want to do. And with that, don't miss out on the greatest opportunity we have to grow as disciples, and that is doing the breakouts. Again, this is a new thing for some of our groups. It may be a little awkward at first, but don't let it be awkward. Don't treat it as awkward. Um, treat it as if it's a normal part of the Christian life to ask these types of questions and to be in this type of relationship, because it should be the normal part of the Christian life. And so practice these things. Live in community together. Ask each other the hard questions. Do the one another's. Hold each other accountable. Do those things um, in your group. This is what Christianity is all about, is those one another's. And so the smaller we make the groups, men with doing that with men, ladies doing that with ladies, is going to have a huge impact on us growing as disciples. And again, that's the goal. Um, those are the big things I wanted to remind you of. If you got any questions about this week's message, it's really simple. It's just not conforming to the pattern of this world. And so really try to hit on that. In what ways have we allowed ourselves to conform to the pattern of this world? How have we allowed it to be so pervasive, even in the church? And what would it look like for us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, letting God move us, transform us from the inside out? Um, how would our life be different? And then begin to practice that as you start this life group season together. Thank you guys so much again for leading, for stepping up. We're so honored to serve alongside you. And we want to equip you and encourage you however we can. So please let us know what do you need and let us serve you in that way. Again, have a great week. I look forward to hearing what comes from your life groups. Shoot us an email back and let us know how things go. Uh, if there's people that don't show up, give them a call. Again, make sure that nobody gets dropped between the cracks. So if there's somebody that didn't work out, they came, but it didn't have child care. They came and it wasn't the right fit. Help us. Help us. Help us. Let us know that they didn't, they didn't stick so that we can follow up and get them into another group. Love you guys. Have a great Monday. We'll talk to you soon.